So I have always loved kind of the latest gadget and techie things. I was always excited about the latest release of the new iPhone and when the iPad came out I was so stoked by that. I just love that stuff and my husband does as well so it's really fun to get um, excited about new tech type things. So I wanted to film a really quick video today and tell you about a couple apps that I love and two um, items of gear I guess that are really really fun for me and um, I just wanted to share them with you. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to tell you about is this really fun camera. I did a whole blog post about this. This is the Fujifilm Instax Mini 8 and it is an instant camera so the, the photos come right out of the top here. The film cartridge, it's not a roll, it's like a cartridge container, um, goes right in here and you get 10 photos per cartridge of film. Uh, and then when you're ready to take a picture you just press this button and the lens pops out and you can hear uh, the flash starting to warm up. It does have a couple settings on it like home, cloudy, sunny, really sunny, and then high key. So you can adjust here based on the light that you're in. Um, but I don't think you can turn the flash off of this one. This again is the Mini 8 and there are a lot of other versions as well to look into. But what's so fun about this is the photo comes out instantly and David loves seeing it right away and I love taking photos of the boys just doing like random things during the day to put in their baby book, snapping a quick photo of Justin and the boys together. It has just been so fun to play with this. It's a little bit clunky. I kind of wish it was a little smaller just to throw in my bag, but you know, I think that this is the Mini 8, so I think this is one of the smallest, if not the smallest versions of the other Instax cameras out there, but anyway, this has been a total fun thing to play with, so I'd highly recommend if you need a new gadget, like for the summertime, or I think it would be a really sweet gift to give um, first-time parents, or a couple that just moved into a new house or moved to a new city, um, anyone doing like a fun adventure thing, this is just fun to have. Again, it's kind of clunky, so maybe not for like a hiking trip, but uh, really, really cool. So I've mentioned this a couple times, but podcasts are my thing, like basically everyone else right now. There's so many good ones out there, and there's so many good ones that have been out there forever. They're just really catching on right now. But if I'm doing a tedious type of task, like in editing a photo or, um, I don't know, organizing things, doing laundry, cleaning up the house a little bit, I will listen to a podcast, and these wireless headphones from Studio Sweden are perfect companions for the, all the podcast listening. So, these are wireless. This is it. You just put them in your ears, you wrap this around the back of your neck, you put them in here. It has um, one section here where you plug it in to charge it, and then this section on this end has the play and then the volume plus or minus. So you sync these up, it's via Bluetooth, you sync them up to your phone and then you don't have an annoying wire going from your earphones down to your phone. So they're super portable. They're also great if you're gonna do something active outside. Like if you're running, I would always put my phone, you know, on my, what's it called, the armband, and then have this cord running from the phone up. I would like have to tuck it into the armband to keep it from getting too long and then my arm would end up pulling it out. So these solve that problem entirely. Anyway, not only are they like pretty to look at, and they're pink with little rose gold um, finishing here right on the earbud. They also come with a couple of earbud sizes, and then a clip if you want to clip it like to your shirt when you're wearing it so it doesn't fall off. And a couple other colors as well, also the classic white, which you can't go wrong with. But um, anyway, these have been really great. So if you like to listen to things a lot, or um, you travel a lot, these would be a worthy investment in my opinion. So there's two new apps I want to mention, and then a third one I want to mention that I've already talked about before that I just want to affirm my love for. Um, the first new one, I guess we'll start there, is Swerk It. And this is a workout app um, on your phone. You can also, it works on your watch if you wear an Apple Watch. Um, but what it is, is a workout prompting, I guess you could call it. But my favorite thing about it is you tell it how much time you have. So you can choose strength, cardio, yoga, stretching, you can customize a workout as well. And then let's say for example we want to do strength, you select full body, lower body, core strength, upper body. You can kind of specify if you want to work on your arms, you specify upper body. And then you tell it how much time you have. So if you really only have five minutes, it'll give you five minutes of upper body workouts. And there's um, 
a video playing on here, like a really easy to watch video, of the person doing the move that you need to do. So if it's push-ups, it's someone doing push-ups. So if you don't know what a push-up is, you can watch the demo and see how to do it. And then also the voice will call out to you and tell you what it is. So you don't have to look at your phone the entire time. Of course you can if you want to. I'm usually doing this type of workout with my kids around and I try and keep my phone as best I can away from my two year old's hand. So I'll just put it out of the way and listen to what the uh, prompter is telling me to do next. So this has been a really fun workout. I heard about this on Shark Tank actually, which is a favorite show of mine. Uh, my other app that I have to mention is Latergram, right next to Swark It. Let me see, I don't have any in the queue. So this is spelled Latergram, uh, later, gram, and then M-E at the end. And what you do is set up all your Instagram posts in here, schedule them for when you want them to go live, and then when that time comes, Latergram will put a notification up on the homepage of your phone and say, hey, you have a post ready to go live. You hit OK, and it will transfer over to Instagram for you. It'll copy the text that you've written within Latergram to your uh, clipboard, and then all you have to do is go through the motions on Instagram, you know, edit it if you want to, and then paste the copy. Hi, cat. There's a lot on my lap right now. And you just paste the copy into the caption and hit uh, publish or OK, whatever it is when you're ready to publish something on Instagram but it makes it so easy. So specifically if you're a blogger, if you were an influencer, which is what we're used a lot now, and you have certain Instagram posts that need to go live at certain times, Latergram will take like all of the effort away. You just set it up to go live and then you don't even have to think about it. It will not post automatically for you. you it will say, hey, it's time, and then walk you through the steps. There's some Instagram rule there. Um, I think there are other apps that will do it for you, but I don't think they're free. So Latergram is totally free. Um, so I've been using that a lot. It's, it's super helpful. And then the third one I want to mention that I talked about in I think my first Cubicle Combos video um, is the Color Story app. And oh, I was just editing that photo. Um, it looks like this when you open it up. It is my favorite way to edit photos. In fact, I love it so much. There are photos that I take on like my Samsung or uh, either even my Nikon DSLR that I want to just upload to my phone so I can use a color story to edit. The filters are just perfect. I don't know how else to explain it. But there's a huge variety. You have to, it comes with a basic one or two and then you can buy more from there. Um, so I bought like the entire starter pack, but since then there's been some new releases. But they just make your photos beautiful and you can of course choose based on a, um, like a toggle, not a toggle, but a slider how intense you want the photo edited or not. You can layer filters w over one another, which you can't do in um, another popular photo editing app called Visco Cam, V-S-C-O Cam. So Color Story makes it super easy. I edited everything in Visco Cam. Is that how you say it? V-S-C-O. I edited everything in there, and now I haven't opened it in weeks because of a color story. So I've mentioned that before, I'm not going to say more about it. Definitely worth looking into if you like to take photos and you want to add them a little bit, brighten them up, um, add a little bit more saturation in the color, or do like cool moody. Actually there's a filter I think called moody, so you can do that if you want to do that too. Okay, so that's it. Just a couple things I wanted to tell you about. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link everything below if you want to look into it further.